Are you in focus? Yeah, you are. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of What's On Draft. We're here at Intergalactic Brewing Company for their May the 4th Be With You event. Pretty awesome. Get it, May the 4th. Get it. You Four. get it? Second place, Matanza. Died in first place, Lord Dre. So we're almost wrapped up with season two. Next week is our actual season finale. That's right. This week we're doing a top 10 breweries in San Diego according to what's on draft. A little bit me, mainly him. Pretty much all me. I don't get a say in anything. Who would you have put on the list? <laughs> I mean, probably one that you didn't is Mother Earth. Oh, I didn't put Mother Earth on there. Well, that's no. true. Mother Earth is really good if you're in North County. But before we get started, we wanted to acknowledge some breweries that are not on the list, mostly because they're just so big and we know you've already heard of them. Stone, obviously the biggest. Carl Strauss, Ale Smith, Mother Earth. Coronado. Coronado. Like All amazing breweries that I love, that have amazing award-winning beer. But you already know that. So here is our top 10 or so list, best breweries in San Diego, according to these guys. These guys. Number 11, Thorn Brewing. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, I thought this was a top 10 list, why are there 11 breweries in the list? First of all, I'm an art major, so don't go trying to confuse me with this fuzzy math. Second of all, screw you, it's my list. Thorn Street has an amazing pale ale, an awesome coconut porter, Belgian beers. Here's some cool footage of Shelly swinging a fake sword around. That's pretty dope too, he's a head brewer. With a larger production facility opening up in Barrio Logan this summer, 2017, you'll probably be seeing a lot more of Thorn's beer. But in the meantime, you can just hang out at their original tasting room in North Park. And as long as you're in North Park, I mean, you might as well go to Fall because Ray is doing some pretty good beer over there at Fall too. So I guess they're, you know, also number 11. And then, you know, they were pretty close to Pariah. So I guess Pariah is number 11 too, you know, and they're right across the street from the home brewer, George's spot. So I think they're opening up a patio soon. So I guess they're also number 11. They're also a home brewing supply shop. So, I mean, if you like beer so much, why don't you freaking make your own? Number 10, North Park Beer Company. Since we're already on a North Park kick, let's talk about Kelsey and his wizard brain. This guy knows more about the science behind brewing than anyone I've ever met, and it really shows in his beer. Kelsey makes some of the most perfectly two-style ales and lagers that I've ever tried, and his tasting room is beautiful. You can also get some top-notch wieners from Mastiff Sausage Company, which is conveniently embedded right inside of the tasting room. Also, it's right across the street from Hess, so I guess Hess is also number 10. Man, numbers are hard, huh? Number nine, Culture Brewing Company. With a gold medal for their brown ale at GABF in 2016, Culture has quickly put itself on the map as a serious contender. Their Mexican lager is amazing, their tart cherry wit is a crowd favorite, and they have a variety of really good IPAs as well. And pretzels. Now at this point you're probably thinking, wait a minute, aren't the associate producers of the What's On Draft show the brewer and head brewer of Culture Brewing? That's not fair for them to put themselves on the list. Oh wait, but it's my show so I can do whatever I want, say whatever I want, because life's not fair. Also, they're right across the street from Pizza Port. So I guess Pizza Port's number nine as well. Number eight, Intergalactic. These guys are seriously amazing. They have so many freaking medals for their beer, they're literally running out of room on the display wall. I've seen all the employees mostly naked, especially Jake, shown here in his natural state. My favorite beer they make is probably their Belgian table beer, Alpha Mense, but they have a variety of different styles and they really have something for everybody. Also shuffleboard. And once you're in Miramar, you really gotta go to Setting Sun Sake, which is also number eight on this list, as well as Thunderhawk and Two Kids and all the other breweries in the Miralani Shopping Center, which are also number eight on my list. Number seven, Toolbox Brewing Company. 
Now I've never actually been to their tasting room, but every bottled beer that I've had from Toolbox Brewing has been absolutely incredible. They specialize in sours, so if that's not your thing, then consider your life choices carefully. And since you're already in North County, you could go to Lost Abbey, which is sort of close, and they have what many people consider to be one of the best barrel programs in San Diego. And they're also number seven on my list. Number six, Second Chance Beer Co. Second Chance is a lovely beer oasis in a part of San Diego County that has a lot less brewery density than everywhere else. They won a gold medal for their roasted porter in 2016. They also have a really good Irish red and some great IPAs, coffee IPAs, really good. Lots of room in the tasting room for cornhole, darts, or whatever. I saw somebody get married there once, it's great. Number five, Modern Times. Now I know this is kind of a trendy answer, but if you can stomach the hipsters who sometimes frequent this tasting room, it is definitely worth it. I've literally never had a bad beer from Modern Times, and that probably has something to do with this actual insane person who is regularly doing weird science to the beer in Modern Times. Also, Jake works there, and he's a handsome man. They also have fresh brewed coffee available in the tasting room that they roast on site. Number four, Burning Beard Brewing Company. At barely a year old, Burning Beard Brewing came out swinging in 2016 with some amazing consistent beer from Jeff and Mike. It's a little bit out of the way for most people, but it's definitely worth the trip. Uh, Shannon works there, and if you give her $5, she'll punch you right in the face, which is great. Banksy ESB, Normcore Pilsner, Rye the Lightning, all amazing beers. And Bobby Matthews actually lives inside of the tasting room. Fun fact. Number three, Pure Project Brewing. Now, Pure Project is another brewery that's very young, but they've really come out with some amazing beer like right from the gate. They've been putting out some great beers in all different styles. They have wine barrel aged beer, IPAs, Saisons. Winslow and Jensen, who are pictured here cleaning the brew house in a totally normal way, are really killing it with the beer coming out of this place. Tasting room is very small, but the product is really top notch, and I think this place is definitely a hidden gem of San Diego. And they're also right next door to Amplified, which is also number three on our list. <laughs> Number two, Alpine Beer Company. Even deeper into East County than Burning Beard, Alpine has some of the finest IPAs that San Diego has to offer. When Green Flash bought them out, they split into two locations, the restaurant and the pub. The pub is great and they have some small batch R&D stuff on sometimes. The restaurant has amazing poutine, but only on Sundays, which is kind of a bummer. It's a great place to go after a hike and if you get lucky, you might get to meet Simcoe, a cold-blooded murderer who kills mice all the time with no remorse. Now, as I've been working on the What's on Draft show for the past couple years, I've had the opportunity to try some amazing breweries in some different parts of the world. And in my travels, one thing that stuck out to me about San Diego is how unique it is in that there is never a scarcity of great beer. It, it really is not a finite resource. I mean, you can basically close your eyes and open your mouth in any part of town and an award-winning IPA will get dumped into it. It's ridiculous. Naming number one is literally impossible because so many of my colleagues and friends in this San Diego brewing industry continue to defy convention, win medals, and just set the bar high for the entire industry worldwide. That being said, this is a list, and I do have to name number one, and that is society, I think. Their beer is flawless and delicious. Their staff is the best at what they do. And as far as I can tell, they perfectly embody the ideal of what craft beer is and what craft beer should be. The only real drawback to society is that Jake works there, but you can just go there when he's not working and then you'll be fine. That is it for this episode of What's on Draft. Those 23 breweries I named are definitely the top 10 breweries in San Diego. Thank you for watching. Next week is our season two finale. Isn't that crazy? What did you think of my list? Was it complete? Did I leave anyone out? I probably did. Make your own list or talk about it in the comments or discuss it with a friend or an adult or a guidance counselor or your pastor or, you know, just pray about it. See you next Monday. Mm -hmm.